Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I know I'm starting this vlog a little bit late. This is already mid quarantine, but I don't know. I feel like the reason why I wasn't really doing it was because I was always just working and it didn't seem very interesting, but I feel like, you know what? I might as well share some of the uninteresting things that I'm doing that could be interesting. I guess I actually wanted to start this week's vlog by taking you grocery shopping with me But of course I forgot my memory card. So even though I brought my camera I literally couldn't record because I didn't bring my memory card But I made up for it by taking you guys along on Instagram So if you're watching this then it would be a last week incident But I'm talking about it because it just happened. So this is weird. It almost feels like I'm talking in the future Normally, it's not that exciting, but this time it was actually exciting for a couple of reasons and by the way I did not plan it to be exciting when I decided to vlog it just so happened to be so exciting because number one I usually shop at Asian supermarkets only because I am such an Asian cook like if you guys didn't know FYI I was born in Taiwan and I didn't come here when I was six I think a lot of people assume I'm born in Canada but I really am not most of my childhood was in Taiwan and then I came here like I said when I was like six years old I didn't even know English actually Actually, when I got here I was in ESL for so many years and then I ended up getting into English honors so you know very proud anyway I'm getting this is what happens when you have ADHD literally like all your conversations are just like all these branches and you just diversify out you just diversify and just don't even talk about what you were talking about so anyway point is I feel like I'm actually like an Asian mother when I cook that's kind of why I always go to Asian supermarkets and the second reason why I go to Asian supermarkets is because everything is just so much cheaper like by a mile before I would always go grocery shopping at TNT there used to be one downtown by Cherry Street but unfortunately they closed down which is so inconsiderate it's like hello how do you expect to shop at TNT when you're downtown then because that was literally the only one even though they're an Asian grocery store they are actually more on the expensive side because if you guys didn't know they were acquired by Loblaws so Loblaws owns Loblaws and the real Canadian superstore and Metro I think that's kind of why like ever since they got acquired everything is a little bit more expensive because TNT isn't around anymore we actually had to go to another supermarket in North York called CNC which is like literally TNT but replace the T with C's I actually became familiar with it because a couple of my co-workers told me about it. My office is actually right beside CNC. They're not owned by any type of major corporation. Their prices are honestly amazing. And honestly, I've always known that their prices are amazing, but today I found so many other benefits to this supermarket. So I thought that I would kind of do a grocery haul because we did spend a lot. We spent close to $300. Okay, that's a lot. Part of the reason why we spent $300 is because we bought a lot of non-perishable stuff. We also also bought groceries for like the next two weeks we also bought a lot of hot pot equipment tomorrow is Lucas's birthday so that's kind of why this week I've been trying to make more extravagant meals and stuff but the biggest highlight from this trip I'm just gonna show you guys I found my favorite instant noodles in the whole freaking world this is what it looks like in Mandarin this is called manhan da tan and it is literally this Taiwanese instant noodle and the reason why I was so excited to find this is because typically you would not be able to find this in Canada I thought the reason was because it was illegal to be selling this because this instant noodle and what makes it so good This is a beef noodle if you're not familiar with Taiwanese food first of all I highly suggest you get familiar with it because not only are we notorious for bubble tea But we are also notorious for beef noodle soup. This is like the instant noodle version They actually have like a meat packet inside that contains real meat. I think I'm gonna show you guys later this week on us eating it because it's literally my favorite instant noodle. And like I said, because it has real meat, I always assumed that you weren't able to find it in Canada because it was probably like illegal to import into the country. Although it's kind of like half and half because number one, it's already been cooked and number two, it's in an instant noodle version. It's not really raw meat or it's not really 
meat. It's like already preserved meat and it's not like you need to fridge this or anything. I would actually have it in my carry-on and buy it at the airport one more time before getting on the plane and I never had any issues. So I don't know if it was actually illegal, but that was just my assumption as to why none of the grocery stores would sell it. But today I actually found it. Maybe it's not illegal after all. Anyway, enough rambling. You definitely can't find this at TNT, but if you go to CNC, you can find it in their instant noodle aisle. Yeah, I'm just so excited to show you guys later this week. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you like a very quick haul. Before I show you the haul, I wanna share my biggest tip in grocery shopping. When I check out, I always separate my perishables and non-perishables. If there's a lot, which we have today, what I like to separate is things that we're eating today so that way we can unpack it very easily and not having to worry about getting it out of the fridge and sorting again. I just sort on the spot when we check out. Like I just put everything to the cashier, like all the non-perishables and then all the perishables and then a section if we're planning to make a meal right away. If you have a lot of food, you can also sort frozen as well. I find that this has been super handy because when you get home, it's just a lot easier to unpack and get your groceries ready. I'm not gonna do a very extensive haul telling you line by line because like I said, we spent $300 so we could be here forever and this video could turn out to be just a grocery haul, but I do wanna highlight some of the items. So obviously I already told you about this instant noodle. If you are planning to get it, this comes in a spicy version like this, but it also comes in a non-spicy version. Honestly, I feel like the spicy version tastes really good, but if you're not into spice, the non-spicy one is just as good. The other one that I found that is also Taiwan only that I never was able to find anywhere else is this one and this one also has real meat and this one is with chicken and it's more for like what is that term chicken wine noodle like what is it called if you guys know what I'm talking about it's like I think it's like ginseng chicken, whatever. This is my cousin's favorite and this is also really good. We also got the soup base for today. So we're making hot pot. It's from Little Sheep Mongolian. And if you guys have been to the restaurant, their soup bases are amazing. So they actually sell the packets themselves so you don't even need to go to the restaurant. So we bought one that was like their plain one, which I really like. And I also bought their mushroom. They also have the spicy one, but I personally don't really like the spice. It's just too much for me and too oily. I highly recommend checking out the soup bases. They're really good and yeah Some other items I got we got this ladle for hot pot This is the first time me and Lucas are making hot pot by ourselves So hopefully this works out because we've never done it before the other thing is we got a hot pot pot and you guys will not believe how much this was this was only 4.99 i feel like when i go to this grocery store i'm robbing them this was 4.99 when the guy told me because we were speaking in mandarin because i had to ask him where it was he took it from the top shelf because it wasn't on the floor and he's like oh it's only 4.99 and i was like 4.99 i'm like are you sure i said it in chinese i said it in english i was just like are you sure? Like, are you fucking with me? And then he's like, no, I, I mean 14. And I'm like, yeah, that makes more sense. And he's like, no, it's 4.99. He got mad at me. I was like, okay, okay, sounds good. He even wrote the price on this bag that it came in. Quality, don't know, but you know what? For 4.99, I don't care. I also got these chips. If anyone's tried them, let me know. I saw someone grab it and I'm very easily influenced. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it too. So um, I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay, so I think I'm gonna show you guys some of the perishables and slash what we're gonna be eating today. First, we got some frozen balls and stuff. I love fish tofu and all of that. We also got lamb for Lucas. So I personally cannot eat lamb. So this is actually why this works out for us because we're using the same soup base but he's gonna stick on his side because he's gonna be cooking lamb in it whereas mine I will not be eating any lamb for some reason I get very sensitive towards it if the lamb has been stewing in the soup that changes the taste of all the other things that come along with it of course we have some garnishes like cilantro for our vegetables we're gonna be using watercress green onion to season Enoki mushroom because you cannot get enough enoki mushroom. We also have corn, which is amazing for hot pot. I also love putting winter melon. So there are a couple of things I like to put in my hot pot to let it have all the flavor come out is winter melon, the corn, and some radish. It makes the soup have a lot more flavor and also sweetens the soup a little bit. Oh my God, we felt so bougie. We bought some oysters. We've never had oysters in our hot pot before, but we were like, 
you know what? It's your birthday. Let's just make it a little bit special. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you the rest because I feel like everything else is pretty standard. So for this week, I also bought some fresh fish. Um, I'm not gonna show you because I know some people get really grossed out by the fish head and stuff, but I'm gonna be making steamed fish with rice. It's so good. And also some braised beef whole fun. I don't know how to say that in English or in Chinese. That's literally the only two Cantonese words I know that is food related because it's my favorite. So we're making that and we're also making sushi except right after we left, we bought everything including the bamboo thing to like wrap your sushi around this thing. But it wasn't until after we left we realized we forgot the most important ingredient which was the seaweed itself to wrap the sushi in. So I think we're just gonna make shift and use some of the seaweed that we already have, but um, we'll see how that goes. So we're gonna get packing and I will show you guys our hot pot in a bit. So we're just heating up the broth right now and I wanted to show you guys what's in this pack. So the first thing is this pack with a lot of the white powder. I'm actually preparing it in a separate bowl because I want everything to kind of mix evenly and then I'm gonna pour it into our two individual sides. Each of this packet actually serves six people, but we are only two people so I'm kind of just eyeballing and I'm only gonna serve half of each packet I already poured half of the white packet in and now I'm gonna be pouring this packet which has all the goji berries that's the orange you can't really see it but that's the orange berries right here that looks like that so once again just gonna pour in half and then the last two packets look like this so this I assume is the oil and this is I don't know what this is, but once again, we'll only be using half. And then later this week, we can probably have hot pot again because once again, this serves six and we're only two people, so. While we're waiting for the soup base to boil, we're just gonna make our sauces. So I feel like everyone makes their sauce some type of way, but Kiss likes to crack an egg in his. I only just started liking that. I feel like I didn't really like it before, but we'll do that together. So. So the next step, I like to put green onion and cilantro in my sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is already chopped up. We actually like to make our sauces the same way, right, babe? Yeah, pretty much. We're just going to do it for you. Here. And then some cilantro. I know some of you are probably like, ew, because I know not everyone likes a cilantro, but we love cilantro. So after cilantro, we're gonna add some minced garlic. We usually like to have it fresh, but we came back so late and I just cannot be bothered right now. I also kind of forgot about it. Um, so we're just gonna add some minced garlic that we bought from Costco. This actually came in handy because that way it saves you time, but obviously if you want true flavor, it's much better to have the real thing. And then the next step we like to add is a saute sauce. Wait, do you want so, um, the spicy sauce yeah. in yours? Okay. So I'm personally not gonna add spicy sauce in mine because I like to eat it separately, but we'll put it in Lucas's. Okay, here. Thank you. And then the most important ingredient is soy sauce. We bought this from Costco, which was like the best decision ever because we use so much soy sauce. We're also putting some sesame oil. And there we go, that's pretty much our sauce. We're just gonna mix up our sauce. And this is what it looks like. Oh my God, yum, I'm so excited. Okay, thanks babe. So this is our hot pot setup. We have pork, beef, and lamb all the way on the other side, but that's just for Lucas. I have some frozen balls here and some tofu. The tofu is kind of like covering some of the frozen balls. Here we have some of the vegetables. We have some radish, winter melon, and corn. Here we have some watercress and over here we have the oysters that I told you guys about. This is deep fried gluten ball that is already boiled, but Lucas loves this shit. It's so weird, but whatever, this is all him. And then we have all mushrooms. This is enoki, and I don't know what this one is called, but yeah, this is our hot pot setup. So we're gonna go eat now and we will see you guys soon. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is Lucas's birthday, as I mentioned yesterday. Here's Lucas, if you don't know what he looks like. Um, we, woke, we woke up at 
30-ish, 12 maybe, whatever. We took the day off today from work so we could spend it doing something more fun for Lucas instead of just being at home. If you follow me on Instagram, you already kind of know what we're doing today. We are gonna go to all the free places for your birthday. So, so far, Lucas has made a list and we have Baskin Robbins, Starbucks, Cha Time, Denny's, and all the places are actually still available to get your free stuff. You just need to pick it up curbside. I'm actually so sad that we just thought about this now because my birthday was a month ago and we did not do this and we did not get my free cha time. I don't really care about the rest. I just care about my bubble tea. The other plan that we have today, which was actually largely inspired by this TikTok that I saw yesterday. Yes, we're very spontaneous and we like to do things when we see it onto other people. But basically we saw this couple drive around bridal path looking at places but also hunting down drake so we might do that i feel like my only concern because obviously you can still go in your car and drive around as long as you're not like outside touching things and people or whatever my only concern is is the bathroom because you know me i pee very frequently and i just don't know how long i can last outside without having to pee for my birthday originally the plan was for us to go to niagara falls and watch the falls from inside our car but we didn't even end up doing it because i was just like oh my god us driving there is gonna be like an hour and a half and i'm definitely gonna already have to pee like three times so it's like how am i gonna last a trip there and back and sightsee. Anyway, we canceled that idea. Hopefully my bladder will cooperate today. And it's not gonna help because we're getting Starbucks and um, cha time. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shower because, oh my God, can you see my eye boogers? Okay, we're gonna go shower and then we're gonna get ready so I don't look like this on our actual day out. So we've secured the goods. Why isn't your... Because that was the only free one. You're right. I would have to pay extra if I wanted, so I got to do the one. You're right. You're so cute. Mm. My favorite drink is the honey oolong milk tea with less ice and half honey. Oh, they didn't do less honey. No wonder it's so sweet. I must have not have asked. Usually I get either pearls or grass jelly. Pearls, if I feel like I can consume the calories. Grass jelly, um, if I'm trying to lose weight. And this has no toppings because I'm really trying to lose weight. I have actually lost, how many Parking pounds I did? Oh. Four. Four. Okay, I've lost like four to five pounds already during quarantine, which is actually, I don't know, something else. But also I gained like four or five pounds from quarantine. So really I'm just normal because today is Lucas's birthday and we have been eating really well, <laughs> like overly well. So um, this week or tomorrow, I'm gonna be back on my diet. Same. So we are currently on our way to Bridal Path and it's my first time actually. I don't think I've ever driven down there. This was never really a mission, but we're like, might as well look for Drake's house because we saw that other couple do it on TikTok and we're like, why not? We have nothing else to do today. So we were just kind of looking for a nice indoor but outdoor activity. Babe, I don't even know what Drake's house looks like to you. No, but I'm sure we can find it. I'm gonna try Googling. Do you think something will show up if I just go Drake's 100%. address? <laughs> save oh wait is located on what the hell this is so public is that not really scary drake's mansion is located on park lane circle which is still under construction oh is that his new house yeah okay let me just look at a picture okay i have an idea of what his house looks like though wow this is really nice damn oh shit okay We'll do a little tour when we're there and we'll also show the other houses that are non-Drake houses, but you know. Okay, so um, he is driving very slowly and it's very clear that we don't live here because of how slow we're driving. And also I'm holding a camera, which is also very not helping. But this is Park Lane, which is apparently what Google says about where Drake lives. So far, nope, that's not his house. <laughs> Um, that's not it either. In the meantime, maybe I will just film any nice places. So far, all of these houses, I don't know. This just looks like the notebook. Like, that's the type of vibe I'm getting. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, okay, guys, okay. Um, so 
so first of all we unknowingly actually just passed drake's house and i only knew that because from the picture the door looked kind of the same but the thing is there's so many people there there were so <laughs> many bikers just up front and i think he has like a he bodyguard security. i think we're gonna come back but now we know where it is we're gonna loop back but right now we'll just like do another street instead of doing an obvious u-turn holy f they, oh my god oh, did you see how many cars Oh my god, you gotta look at how many cars were- Yeah, we're gonna come back. We're not gonna do a U-turn. That's why we gotta go on another street because if we do a U-turn, that's just way too obvious. Oh my god, this is the aggressive gate. Okay, guys. Guys, what the hell? What the hell is up with this gate? This looks like Buckingham Palace. What? Oh, oh my shit. god. There's like a gigantic fountain. Is this even real? Is that house for sale? Aw, that's so sad. Not like that one's- bad it's just like not as newly renovated these guys want their privacy wow look at this yeah this should be drake's house okay maybe not the oh, door there's nobody <laughs> but once again babe no obvious u turns we'll just <laughs> turn on to wow yeah, I can go to that school. <laughs> there's probably like five kids because this entire neighborhood only has five houses should we since go up one house point takes up like half a or seat. should we go down the bridal path no let's go down Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Guys, we're house hunting. I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? I cannot afford to live here. I will need to like marry five different husbands. <laughs> wow, that's so pretty. Look at this house. Wow. Guys, why do all of these houses look like castles in Europe? to find we're not even okay no he, actually he is he's a huge drake fan but he didn't know where he lived what is up with this house oh my god this is from the tiktok video we saw what the hell is going on why is there so many cars that's what i don't understand maybe everyone's hunting down drake or maybe everyone is also um house hunting so we're just gonna look at some other big houses and then we're gonna go back and look at Drake's house because I wasn't ready like I didn't know that it was Drake's house so I didn't turn the camera over in time it was I didn't even turn it on to be honest with you we didn't expect to hit it so fast it was the minute you turn on Park Street it was like the second house so FYI if you're also gonna try this activity <laughs> try this activity you're oh my right. god look at this house wow that's clean this one's a clean house. Okay, you can't see it now. Okay, this might be my favorite. Babe, you're, you're looking at the speed bumps, right? Yes. <gasps> wow, look at this. Okay, I need to stop holding up my camera because everyone's like, just do it. Who is this cares? bitch? It's not like we're coming back here. You're right. We are not coming back here unless if I live here, then I'll come back. Guys, tell me this does not look like a European castle. Like one of the summer houses of one of the counts. Oh wait, there's no exit. Wow. Okay guys, round two, we are gonna go down Drake Street again. I'm just kind of hoping that no one pulls us over because they see my camera and be like, you need to delete that footage because there were security guards in front of his house, obviously. You're so ridiculous. What? Okay, okay, here, here goes guys. Okay, here is Park Lane, as you can see, Park Lane. Okay, turn right. And this time we're on the opposite end. The first time we came okay. through this way, Actually, this is better because then it'll be on the right side. Drake's house is coming up on the right. Okay, in the meantime, let's look at some other homes. Like this, for example. Like, hello. Oh my god, there's literally a group of people outside. Staring at hello, house. this is one of my vacation homes. Look at this. Look how much traffic. There's like literally nobody. Other girls taking pictures, yes! Okay, guys, this is the house, this is the house. On the right, right here, right here, right here. Okay, guys, this is the house right here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, lights went on. Okay, so yeah, someone was in the car. Wow. Okay, so just as I expected, I really needed to pee. So <laughs> we're gonna head home now because I can't hold my bladder. But before we go, we're gonna go into LCBO to get our favorite wine for tonight. Because like I said, it's Lucas's birthday. I've said it like three times. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so we're at the shops at Don Mills LCBO and they're actually really good because they have hand sanitizers outside for everybody. The shop is very empty, so we didn't put our mask on because there's not really anybody here. It was only like a five minute drive to shops at Don Mills from the bridal path. So I guess the closest shopping mall or area from the bridal path and Drake's house is shops at Don Mills, which is funny because I actually come here all the time since work is nearby and we come to eat lunch here all the time. So maybe one day I'll see Drake. I'm just kidding. That's never gonna happen. Okay, this is the wine that we love and we just stocked up on three. We are finally home. Right now, we are just getting ready for dinner. Tonight for dinner, we are making braised beef noodles. The noodle that you would usually use for this dish is called whole fun. It's basically this like fresh rice noodle and it's so good. It's literally my favorite thing that's Cantonese. It's also like the only thing I know how to say that is food related, except for gong cao ao hao, which is like another <laughs> fried noodle dish, but it uses a whole fun. But anyway, I'll leave a picture if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. That's the name of the noodle. It's also my nickname for Lucas because in Cantonese, when you say very annoying, it's whole fun, right? Whole fun. Whole fun, whatever. I'm just like starting to learn Cantonese. But anyway, to me, like to the naked ear of someone who is a Mandarin and not Cantonese, whole fun and like whole fun, whatever, sounds the same. And I always say like lay whole fun to um, Lucas, meaning like you're so annoying. So basically I just call him a noodle and I'm just like, you're such a noodle because he's so annoying. But anyway, today we are making braised beef noodle. This is kind of something that I've made up on the spot. I don't want to say I have a proper recipe for. I just make it as I go. Two main, main ingredients I use. I really like it when there's like a tomato soup base. I don't know if it's a Taiwanese thing, but for beef noodle, I love using tomato. So I definitely have a lot of tomato. I also put in the radish, which we also have from Hot Pot last night. And also I think like this sauce is extremely key. I am not going to be sharing how I make this because I don't know if it's right. I don't really follow any type of recipe. I just kind of like freestyle it and I feel like every time I make it, it's different. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't really fuck up. Lucas usually helps me cut the meat in slices or in chunks. Anyway, let's get cooking. Okay, so we are done making the beef brisket and we're about to put it in the Instant Pot. This is what the final product looks like. There's tomato, radish, and beef brisket. I've already sauteed it for a little bit and now we're gonna put it in the Instant Pot. Like I said, I sort of um, made my own recipe. There is no recipe for this. So hopefully this turns out okay. We'll see. We're actually gonna head out again. We're gonna go to Metro and get a little cake for Lucas. Um, and yeah. Okay, sorry, I lied. This was actually the finished product. I realized I forgot three things. I forgot the paste that I told you that was essential. I also added some carrots here. And of course I needed the hot water for it to be noodle soup. So that's why it's a lot higher and submerged in water. So this is the final result. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get whole fun yesterday because they were all sold out since we went later at night. So we're using this vermicelli instead. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Like, actually, we're not supposed to eat the green onion, but whatever. We already taste tested it and it's not bad. Are you excited? I'm so excited to eat. I'm starving again. Here. Happy Love birthday, you. babe. Thank you for cooking. No problem. Good morning, guys. Sorry we didn't really finish off the vlog yesterday. We were so tired, but just a recap. We did not do literally like 90% of the things that we said we were gonna do. So out of the things that we were gonna go and pick up that were free, we literally only picked up cha time and we didn't pick up anything else. So that was kind of unfortunate, but we did have a really big lunch and a really big dinner from all the things that we cooked. So that was fine. For the rest of the evening, we just spent watching Modern family if you guys haven't seen modern family you definitely should especially now that it's back on netflix we're actually re-watching modern family i absolutely love that show it's just so heartwarming and just makes you feel so good if you guys haven't seen it i highly recommend but anyway sorry i'm just gonna put you guys 
down, even though this is kind of against the sunlight. I didn't get to vlog this morning because so my therapist, usually I see him later in the evening, but he had something else to do today. So we had our session early morning instead. If you guys didn't know already, I do see him every single week just for an hour. I feel like even times when I'm like, I don't really have anything to say, but like when I show up, there's so much coming out that it's just really nice to have a check-in. It honestly has been such a big part of my life. I feel like we all grow up having mentalities that we don't even know are right or wrong, or I don't wanna say right or wrong, but just healthy or not. So I feel like everyone could benefit from therapy, even if you're not like depressed or anxious or whatever classic reasons people think you need to go into therapy for. I feel like even just going in, talking about day-to-day -day problems, having a new perspective on how to view things is just really good. But anyway, for the rest of the day, obviously I have to work because I did not take a day off today. So there's not much I can show you in terms of work. So I think I'm just gonna check in with you guys after. Hi guys, so we, we are done work for today and Lucas is just helping me build the setup for the entranceway. So I'll give you a little tour of what the entrance looks like right now. So when you walk in the front door, there's this empty space here. And what we're planning to do or what I want to do is I want to build shelves that stick out like this and it's going to go all over so I can put shoes on there. I don't have a very big closet so I need any extra room I can get. So this will be very helpful if it's just a wall of shoes. And then over here, I'm planning to put a couple of hooks for the coats. That way, when the guests come in, or even when I come in, and it's a coat I usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis, I can just quickly hang it up there. So this is what I actually bought. Actually, this is Lucas helping me right now. Babe, say hi. This is what I bought for the hooks. These gold hooks I got from Ikea and you can see the name of what the hooks look like. We did buy these special hooks from Home Depot to go into the wall so that it can sustain the weight because obviously you can't just, actually I'm saying obviously, but I really didn't know that. You can't just drill it in as you please. You need to have these very special wall hooks hold on to the weight. In the meantime, I can show you my other entrance. It's kind of a mess right now. But this is also from Ikea. We had to use special wall clips as well because as you can see, this one is off the ground. So this is just a very nice and easy solution to put some shoes in here. If you guys are not familiar, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the finished product so far. To be honest, I underestimated how many shelves that I would need. There's still some room up here, so I'm gonna order some more of these shelves from Ikea, and then hopefully it'll go up a little bit higher. Maybe not too much because, let's be real, I cannot reach all the way up there. You found yourself cleaning it up? I am. Oh my god, you're actually so ridiculous. Oh, I see the difference now. What? Are you making fun of me? Yeah, babe. My back hurts. How many minutes of work did you do? A lot. Okay, so we've drilled one, we're just drilling the other one. The strategy to doing this is hanging up your coats first, so that way you ensure that the hangers give a good enough space between the coats and it's not too close or too far. I also had to keep in mind the shelves that we were building for the shoes. Okay guys, this is the finished product. So we have the two coat hangers, we have my shoe shelves in, and then we have this ottoman. So if you, or me, I guess, <laughs> need to put on shoes, you can sit here and yeah. So once again, I think I'm gonna install some more shelves because I think there's room for some more. I've actually changed my mind about not going that high. I think it might be better to go higher and just use it as shoe storage so at least I can see it. And if I really need it, then I have my stepladder to help me grab the shoes. But anyway, I think I'm going to be ending the vlog here because even though it's only been three days, there's been a lot of content, so I don't want this video to go too overboard. But for the rest of the week, I'm really just gonna be working. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else that's exciting, but if I do, I will be sure to vlog it again. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.